Greetings, everybody. That there in front of us is the milestone marker for Nihonbashi. This is where all of the roads start from this marker here. It's a pretty important marker here in the Nihonbashi area. We're going to show you a little bit of that and a lot more in this live stream because we're here with Alex again. Hey, everyone. You're now a survivor. I am. How was it, the typhoon? It was tough, but not as bad as it could have been, I guess. Right? Yeah. Did you also feel the earthquake? I did. <laughs> oh, was that your first earthquake? It was, yeah. I thought, I thought it was the typhoon shaking the hotel, but um, no, it wasn't. Yeah, same thing here. I thought it was the strong winds, and then I saw the earthquake warnings, like, what just happened? So we both... Your flight was canceled. It was, yes. It should have been on Saturday, and now it was canceled, and it will be on Thursday. This oh, week. Thursday. So you leave to go to, back to Narita? Haneda. Haneda, okay. Good. Yes. So you happy about that? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I would be thrilled if I got to spend another three more days and I'm on my vacation. Um, this is a very controversial bridge, and we're going to start from the bridge and take a look at this neighborhood. A lot of hotels are here, a lot of people are staying in the Nihonbashi area, and it's quite large. The Nihonbashi is written right there. Um, it means Japan's bridge, and it's significant because um, if you've ever seen the woodblock prints, you'll notice that there's a, a, um, some good ones of Nihonbashi showing the history of it. Now, if these cars can clear, you're going to see the marker in the middle of the road. The one that we saw is to keep us from running running into the middle of the road <laughs> and keep us safe. So the one here, uh, there's actually a marker in the middle of the bridge. As the traffic clears, there are some really amazing um, statues on this bridge. What is a shame is that it is covered by this highway built in for the 1964 Olympics. Uh, they really did a rush job to try to get the infrastructure top notch. The result was that it kind of de-beautified Japan's most important bridge which is a, a real shame. Um, I think that car is on top of the marker. It's, it's behind the white truck here. I was, also, I was also told that there are some reminders of the World War II bombing from March 1945, which was the worst bombing in the history of war what happened here in, in Tokyo. Um, and I'm not, I cannot confirm that information, but I was told that there's a spot there. There it is right there, the marker. It's, it really is in the middle of the street right there. I used to, before I did a bicycle trip, I, I went to that marker in the middle and I touched it. That was like a significant part of my trip. So, so Alex and I are gonna go find some food too, if we can find something. Have you eaten? Yes, but it was a long time ago. Long time ago, good, good. So everybody, welcome officially to Nihonbashi. We've started from the marker in the middle of the street. Uh, this is traditionally where the market used to be, where it's Skiji Market. Before Tsukiji, it was here in Nihonbashi, but the great Kanto earthquake in the 1920s wiped it out. I believe it was 1923, and that's when they had to move um, the market to Tsukiji. And now Tsukiji Market has now since moved back over to Toyosu. But you'll see tons and tons of historical markers here because there's just so much history, including that. And then this lamppost here, Tokyo City's uh, roadway light. So these are really old things that are part of the history of the city of Tokyo. And you can't, you can't miss Nihonbashi when you come here. Just, it says here, the zero milestone in Tokyo, in Japan, Nihonbashi was built in 1603 and designed by the Edo Shogunate government as the starting point of five major roads in Japan. Five major roads started from this point. The present Nihonbashi, built in the Renaissance style in 1911, is a double arched bridge made of stone. The calligraphy engraving Nihonbashi on the plaques on each of the, of the four newel posts is based on the work of Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the last shogun. In 1972, the original zero milestone of Tokyo, formerly located in the middle of Nihonbashi Bridge, was transferred to the square for preservation and replaced by a memorial plaque. So this is the real one here, covered in a beautiful, beautiful wrapping. And the one in the middle of the street is actually a memorial plaque, so it's not the original one. So that's good information. That's why we have plaques. Wonderful Starbucks on the other side there. I've, I've met many people 
Did you do that, Alex? These, um... No, I didn't. Mario Karts. I, need a, I guess you can't call them Mario Karts anymore, right? Because of yeah, Nintendo's like a complaint. Lawsuit. Yeah, a lawsuit. And I guess they just took away the uh, costumes. They can't wear Mario costumes, but they still do it in, in costumes. You need a driver's license to do that, and it's, it's a pretty reasonably priced tour. I think a lot of people watching have done this before. This is Mitsukoshi Department Store. It is important because there's a lot of history. These department stores here, and there's another one, I think, down the street there. I, I believe that Nihonbashi turns into Mitsukoshi Mai, which is another station on the Hanzamon line. But all, but all between here and, and there, there's also a secret shrine that we're, we're going to go to, Alex. Have you been to many shrines? Yes, including the secret one of Akihabara. Oh, you found that one! Yes. <laughs> Very cool. We're going to take you to secret shrine number two. I don't know the history of it as much, but we're going to go there. It's not that secret, actually. But, I don't know. Sounds not a lot cooler. of people... Yeah, it sounds cooler. There's not, not a lot of people know about it. So are crossing the street here. In Japan, we call these lights Ao, Ao it all, which is blue. And if you look closely, it does kind of look blue, not green. And the reason why is because it's a primary color and they say it's easier for, for colorblind people to see. So they make it bluer, bluer than the greener. That's my bicycle right here. Please be here when I come back. This is a no parking zone, but uh, Shogunai. Discount tickets. So if you don't come with a JR Rail Pass, you can go to a place like this and get really cheap tickets. Let's see what, what it's going for. How much cheaper is a ticket, a discount ticket? That's pretty significant. Um, from Tokyo by Shinkansen to Yokohama is a thousand yen cheaper if you get the ticket, or no, sorry, a hundred yen cheaper. And if you go further, it gets cheaper. Nagoya is 800 yen cheaper, a ticket, a Shinkansen ticket here. Um, Osaka is almost a thousand yen cheaper. And if you go all the way to um, Hiroshima, it's um, $15 cheaper about. So it kind of pays, I guess, to get your tickets from a discount ticket shop, especially if you use the Shinkansen often. And they have other discount tickets that you can get, coupons and such. Welcome to the streets of Nihonbash. Loads of traditional dessert shops. Um, this is the Nara Prefecture Satellite Store. You can tell because of the uh, very weird mascot here. He's a baby with antlers. And I believe, what's his name again? And gosh, I forget his name. Um, Nada used to have a have a copyright licensing fee for him, Nada Kun, not, but they've released the copyright thing so people can use it more for freely because it's one of the most bizarre looking Japanese mascots in the world. Look at that. Why does the baby have antlers? I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say. But you can find inside of the uh, antenna shop uh, food and sake from Nara Prefecture, which is pretty cool. And the deer. I remember you, dear, from that video. You attacked me, your cohorts. Awful. Deers. They're dangerous in Nara. So did you go to Kamakura, Alex? No. No. <laughs> I didn't. What did you see on your trip? What's the most impressive thing? Oh, hard to narrow it down to one. But I went to Yokohama and Kawasaki. Mm. That was probably the far, farthest. Uh, down the Kawasaki. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where the um, that festival is. The I've one been, with the shrine. Yeah. I've been to <laughs> I don't the place you recommended to me. I forgot the name. Oh, Shibamata. N yes. Did you I, go to Shibamata? I did. I didn't find the lady you met. No, the dango lady. Ah. But I tried the food, had tons of dango and mochi, and it was great. Yeah, they got a ton of stuff there. Shimane Prefecture representing. Here's a Shimane Prefecture. That's Shimaneko. And uh, yeah, there you go. You can buy Shimane stuff in here. This is on the Sea of Japan side near Totori. Shimane Ken is, is pretty cool. 
they all pretty cool. There's no prefectures that I say aren't cool. The Mitsukoshi here, you can see the history of the building. It's made in, in, a, in a very like early, 19, early 20th century style. This could be like a bank in New York or something. Very interesting architecture. And if you do get a chance to go in there, it, it's a throwback. The style of the department store is a throwback to another era. You can see kind of inside of there. It's pretty neat. And then looking around the department store, you'll see the history of it. You get, you can feel it in there. As well as the other Nihonbashi location. Um, Matsuzakaya, I think, is another department store. A lot of history inside of there. Oh, I think it was back in the side street. We missed the Shogun, the marker. Oh, maybe we could do that on the way back. I've already um, shown people that one. But if you've read the book Shogun by James Clavel, there's a marker of where Anjin-san had his house given to him by Tokugawa, the, the shogun at the time. And uh, the marker is pretty neat because it brings what you read in the book to real life. This is the um, Mitsui Sumitomo Ginkgo Bank. The building looks like a bank, what a bank would look like. It's a pretty strong building. And this is also where the Japan's um, stock market is not too far away from here as well as the, the uh, uh, currency museum and uh, a lot of the money. Again, a lot of the merchants were here in Nihonbashi. Historically, it's always been a very wealthy neighborhood. And to have an apartment here is sort of a big deal. It means that you got some cash. Some cash. All right. So Ando 1135, here's, here's for Here's for food for you and Alex. Thanks, we're gonna get something on the way and thanks for the fun video. Skylar writes in there. Thank you, Skylar. You gotta get some food, Alex. <laughs> that shouldn't be hard. Oh, is this the knife store? Oh, this is the knife store. Check it out, okay. We're gonna look, just some window shopping here. Japan has the best um, fingernail clippers in the world. I don't know if you know that, Alex. Didn't. Yeah, it's not something that's widely known, but if you come to Japan, getting fingernail clippers and scissors, and uh, look at the Rugby World Cup representing here. Here's some, uh, like, some scissors or uh, hasami, yeah, little teeny scissors they have here. This shop is very famous. It's been around for a long time. You can see the history in, in there. I'm not gonna go in there and film because they don't have permission, but you'll find a ton of um, scissors and other cutlery inside of there as well as very strong looking people. Lots of knives in there. Look at he's polishing a knife. <laughs> okay. あ、本当でもライブ配信してる大丈夫。ビデオ。今600人ぐらい見てる今。ロロ、すごいね、嬉しいね。あれどんどん宣伝してください。レギングプロパガンダ。Anyone? Yeah. Anyone? Anyone can come in? Okay, come on in. That's nice. Look at this. Very yasashi. Since 1792. Since 1792? 227 years for anniversary. Present nine generations. Nine generations? That's incredible. We have many kind of gadget and culture. まあ、外国人観光者どんな多いですね。何のナイフ買ってますか一番人気は。クッキングナイフ。クッキングナイフ。見せられますか?いや、見せてもいい。あ、どこにあるの?僕です。He's going to show us a cooking knife just quickly. ありがとう。This is nice. It's pretty cool. Where did Alex go? はい。これ、聞こえるの声が。どこに書いてあるのアメリカアメリカはいほとんどアメリカ Okay, may I explain about knife shortly? Sure, please! Then we have... 聞こえる? 聞こえるよ、はい We have three kinds of steel From here, over there, stainless steel Stainless steel, you can find easily, everywhere I recommend carbon steel Carbon steel Yeah, keeping shape longer than stainless steel Yeah At least, 
I recommend carbon steel. Wow, these yeah. look strong knives. Yeah. But the rusted, you have to take care of rust. But uh, no difficult for you because uh, when you make rust in time, scratch you can buy wine cork with edge. Ah, okay. Uh, remove rust, uh, easy. Okay. Yeah. So this is you. So if any scratch comes, you just yeah, use that's this. Yeah, right. rust. And it'll de yeah. erase the, the scratches. We have a long this. I recommend the carbon steel. Yeah, carbon yeah. steel. And these are different kinds. This is a honcho. No, no, which is our double tradition, only fish. Oh, only for fish? Yeah. Okay. This is our double edge bread. This oh, these are double edge for right now. Single edge bread. Oh, yeah. for fish. Yes, yes. Wow. And a knife should last forever. Using uh, 1,000 of the freezer, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 1,000. Now, with, uh, how many people? How many? Six, 630. It's oh. increasing. Look at that. Hi, thank you. You, you have, <laughs> yeah, you're bringing everybody into the live stream. Yeah. So this shop is called? The name of? Kia. Our Kia. Our name is Kia. This shop is called Kia, and Kia. they make... They've been making uh, knives for many generations. Of course. Yeah, of since 1790. Uh, Present is uh, nine generation. 227 wow. for anniversary this year. The nine generation working. Yeah. Wow. The 10th generation and educated, has been educated. Yeah. That's amazing. From me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Mr. Kia? No, no, no. Oh, no. I am one of the staff. Uh, one of the staff. But a little bit of a little bit of can speak English. Little bit. <laughs> no, your English is very good. Well, I have to brush up my English every day. Yeah. Wow. And I see that all the knives have an engraving in it. Yeah, that's right. What does it say in in the knife here? This is our shop name. Oh, the shop's name. The Nihonbashi area name. Yeah. Small word, uh, Nihonbashi. Our shop name is Kia. Kia is engraved yeah. on there. It's beautifully yeah. done. So you have the, the shop's reputation is in the knife. That's right. Yeah. They we have uh, 83 countries coming uh, since uh, 60 years. That's incredible. Uh, and, uh, I'm making a report to the uh, head office. Uh, 2,850 people is coming for buying wow. our shop. Wow. Buying our, our shop. Wow. Knife. So which one is the most popular for foreign tourists that it's they a, buy? We have two types of shape, okay? The carbon steel, Buy yeah. One is a kamagata. Kamagata. Cutting, cutting for a general purpose. Meat, fish, and vegetable. I okay? see. Long one, we say chef knife. Chef knife. Slicing. This is cutting. Yeah. This is 100 millimeters, and it's actually reasonably priced. Just yeah. Niman, Yonhyaku, and yeah, about no $190. The price is the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's wonderful. Yeah, thank you. And you can get the fish. It. And this is for fish down here. These I are want to only show one you. side. I want okay. Yes, very Oh, wow. This and I have a 70, 70, 70 layers for piling up for making design. Wow. 70 layers. Very beautiful. Look at Amazing. this. Yeah. Is this, this is a tamahage. Uh, the pattern on it is very unique. Yeah, kind of, uh, yeah, this is a uh, uh, Dusen. Dusen is a uh, kind of a name. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's and the, Damascus. Damascus, right? Yeah, from a Syria country. Right. Yeah, take over, take over, take over. They're making a design. So the same. Oh, it even says Damascus on here. Yeah. This knife, uh, one steel twisting. Oh right. One steel twisting. This is uh, this is a fake Damascus because uh, piling up for making a design. Okay, so that's a fake 16, one. 16, middle one, total set, uh, 14 knife layers for piling up for making design. I see. This is a one steel twisting. Yeah. This is a 70. 70s, yeah, 70 times. Yeah, many people buying on this knife. They're oh, very, very people. strong, yeah. yeah. But the pattern is very beautiful. I yeah, think so it's and just a knife. Yeah, it's very so. important. I'm proud of uh, cutting, uh, selling everything for you. <laughs> yeah, you should be with the, such, a, such a history of knife making. You. you should be very proud of it. I th one of the most Interesting knives is the soba cutting knife, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Middle, 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 yeah. middle is uh, only soba. Right, this one here is for soba. Right, these are Chinese knives for chopping, and then these... Fried uh, pork sauté. Fried pork sauté. Fried what? Pork sauté. Pork. Ah, for pork. With a tempura. Yeah, very interesting design. Yeah, in Japan also the nail, tsumekiri is also very... Yeah. Um, yeah, if I can show. No, we, we have been selling on World Cup. Oh, oh yeah, we saw that. This is a World Cup. Uh, this is the Rugby World Cup 
uh, lineup. Japanese people. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. The nail cutter is a really good gift yeah, from Japan. Of course, of course. And or using yourself. Yeah. These are cutting for thread. Okay, thread cutters. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. You're really cutting that up there. Huh. Oh, you did try it. Look at that. Huh. Wonderful. Please try me. Okay. Yeah. I <laughs> This <laughs> sake. Oh, right, okay. Very cool. They will have uh, 70 locations for uh, playing a game, a uh, location. Right. Yeah, in uh, domestic. Oh, this one is for... Um, this is a character. This is yeah. the area. Oh, this is for the so area. I see Oita, area. Saitama, Tokyo, right. Kanagawa. Uh, right. Yeah, wonderful. Great. And what is, what is your name again? There's my people. Are, people are asking. They want to meet I'm you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Uehara. Uehara san. Yes. Thank you, Uehara san. Okay. So if you want to come, come to Kia Nihonbashi. Oh, good. And uh, take a look at some of the knives. Mm -hmm. And Uehara san. Please trust well, me. Well, he can yeah. speak English, and yeah, he will, no, no, so good. And he will help you find the perfect knife. <laughs> what did What did you think, Alex? Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Such a long history. Looks like some yeah. high quality products. That's right. Including everything. Yes. Yeah. So okay. Can, okay. Oh, okay. There's more. This is a pruning. Ah, uh, grooming. Okay. This is a pruning. Okay. Yeah. Pruning. Yeah. Pruning. Pruning. This is a skin of a. A shaving. Yeah. yeah. Wow. These are real shavers. You want a close shave? You get one of these. This is a filing. Oh, I could use a nail file right. actually. These are really good. Now, Ki uh, Kia doesn't make nail files, do no, they? No, no, no. Yeah. We are older than some, any uh, company. Oh, I see. We don't uh, make it, uh, everything. I could use a good, uh, good nail file. I'm yeah. making all that. Look at these small nail files. Yeah, this is Germany. Ah, uh, from German. This okay. is the real Japanese. Ah, oh, look at those tweezers. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> they will have a combined the import product and the Japanese product. Right. Yeah. I guess you get you always look yeah, for the yeah, best. This is a Gaza. Beer, yeah. beer, beer. Uh, these are from uh, Japan. No, no, this is uh, from from Germany. No, I think yeah. Gaza, 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 Gaza. Oh, that's Gaza. a, a Plissen. Yeah, very good. And these are also shavers you can get. Nothing but the best. Nihonbashi is famous. Yeah, very, 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 old, very famous uh, for having the best of the best. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's the best, and get some uh, nose <laughs> for. I could use one of these for my nose hair. Sorry, Kanai has been telling me. This is a earwax. Earwax. Oh, earwax. Earwax. Oh, these ear are picks. famous in ear Japan picks. too. Ear picks like to bamboo. clean out. Bamboo. Yeah. Made of bamboo. Made of bamboo. And instead of Q-tips, people will use this. And this is ivory. Ivory made it strong. Maybe oh yeah. For soft for ear. Ah, oh, and yet and very ivory. A little controversial, but <laughs> yeah, but uh, very strong. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, a little pricey. But the bamboo ones, these are really good. I have, I've gotten one of these for every time I travel. I bring one for my mom. Ah, very for compost outside. Yeah. Taking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have many methods for cutting. Oh wow. They open the cutting. Look at this. Look powerful. You can really oh, cut no. some yeah, stuff with that. Yeah. This is a stainless steel, no rusted, very easy for maintenance. Yeah. And These then, are made in Japan as well. How do you think of them? You guess. How do you think? This is Caesar. Oh, elderly. Oh, for the elderly? Uh, smaller. There's a cutting for meat and a smaller for it. Oh. <laughs> choki, 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 choki. That's the how you say cutting yeah, in Japan. Do not how to. Oh, this one? This pick is. Out, pick out the. Scale. The scales oh, on fish. fish. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't know that. <laughs> Look, it's made of it's made of uh, like a yeah, yeah. yeah made yeah. in Japan. Yeah. Looks yeah. good color. You always get good quality. If it says made in Japan, you know it's gonna be it's really, really good quality. Yeah, France is okay. France is okay. Japan is just maybe a little bit better. Some uh, yeah. This is the Japan made one. These are Germany. Ah, uh, German ones? Yeah. Uh, These are uh, slices for Obaji. 
Oh yeah. Oh, these are good bread knives. Yeah, these are bread yeah. knives, cheese, everything. Oh man, I got. I have this exact one. Oh, you have already. And yeah, this one in this case Ooh, at home, nice. and it, it's yeah. so good at cutting bread. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much for the tour. Yeah. Good chance for me. And and you. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get some people coming now. Yeah, okay. They're gonna be coming now. Yeah, anytime in the future, I'll shop anytime. I'm waiting for you anyway. Oh, thank you, Uihara-san. Thank, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I okay, think I'm making a propaganda in the world. <laughs> okay, I hope you. Okay, this was, thank you so much. Thank you. This bye is bye. Kia, yeah. the knife shop. Definitely stop by because of the friendliness. That's a pretty cool experience, huh? What a nice he just guy. he just waved us in and we're like, okay, we'll go in. Why not? I learned a lot from him. I actually have a show on Only in Japan about knives. I went to Seki, which is where they make the knives. All right, Nihonbashi Kia has a long history, um, and he didn't didn't really pressure us to buy anything too. He was just proud. He was very proud of what he was doing, and that makes me really happy. Um, David Kimura's in the house. Restock your freezers. <laughs> David, we, we love you. We love you, David. And Cobra Bebop with the animated, animated emoji. He's got some smiles here. Mr. Toss is in the house. Apparently he wants us to stay s slightly hydrated. We know what that means. And get us stop talking like this. Um, we're taking, at Kia, we're taking a right and I'm showing Alex the secret shrine. It's not really secret, but He's still, ex he's still excited. You can already see it, so it's not like it's secret. It's just off of the street. This shrine was was redone, and I, 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 I kind of forget the history of it. I wasn't prepared to do this one, but I know it was, it was sort of redone and remodeled because this area has been renovated. You see a lot of the beautiful shops here. This is one of my favorite areas to walk around, and there's a lot of events that take place in this side of Nihonbashi, just there outside of the Koriedo building. It's a very, like a new Japanese style, black, looks natural, natural colors to it back here. And it's off of the main street. Lots of restaurants in the summer times, the, the chairs will spill out onto the street here. And then over here is a shrine. And it's just, it's, it just seems kind of out of place. You have some business guys sitting there underneath the trees. And then to the right, a shrine. <laughs> I don't, I don't do, you have your, do you have Google Maps on your phone? What's the name of this shrine? I just call it the secret shrine. I ride my bicycle by here quite a lot, but we're gonna go inside for the first time. So this is the Fukutoki shrine. Okay, let's show this on the map here. So that's where we are. This is the Fukutoku shrine. And it's just, it's pretty small, but it's so clean. Let's just take a quick look inside. The one in Akihabara is more of a secret, I think. It's that's like you really have to be able to find it. Oh, look at the little teeny uh, Tori gates on the street there. But I like the contrast in Japan of these traditional religious buildings, and then you have the yeah. skyscrapers next to it. So I'm just gonna stand here. You don't want to stand in the middle of the roads um, at shrines because that's made for kamisama or God. But it's a very it's a new shrine, but the age of it really. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a newly done one, but the location's been here forever. When shrines are, are they don't relocate shrines, they stay where they are. Um, they have in the past, but this one just stayed where it was, and they've built the brand new skyscrapers all around it. You can see that's the Koriedo building. Koriedo Group has these new buildings up here. You see? You can see the kitsune of the foxes as well which are good for business so you pray for various things some people taking pictures there's the uh, control center for the shrine or the priests um, Shinto priests will be in there when you see these torties uh, usually it's it's a Shinto shrine and uh, Buddhist temples will have uh, Oni or or like Japanese demons in front of it to keep evil spirits away so we'll walk We'll walk back here a little bit and then go back onto the main street. Nosh abroad. Let's get our friend a little something to snack on. 
Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's time to eat. <laughs> Nosh, Nosh keeps, us, keeps us going. This is interesting. This is new. This elevator is for bicycle parking. And you would just ride your bike onto the elevator and it takes you down. I did not know that. So there's bike parking for um, bike parking for this area. That's why you don't see any bikes illegally parked back here, because the department stores will just get rid of it real fast. They are actually moving. It's just the little teeny things. The little teeny things. You don't see that in Berlin, do you? No. I yeah. Don't. No. So this is Alex visiting from Berlin. Yes. Someone Thank asks, you, who's that guy with you? That's Alex. His flight was canceled because of the typhoon. And yes. uh, we get a chance to meet him again. What's your, do you have, do you have any, what, what do you want to promote? Like your Instagram, your YouTube channel? I mean, I set up my YouTube channel, but I want to make sure that I put effort into the content before I put it out, so... That makes sense. It, it might take a little... Take a little time before you get it. We can jump into this family mart, maybe. Let's get a drink first, shall we? I don't see any vending machines here. There's no vending machines. There's a family mart right there. But let's go back onto the main street. I think that there might be some traditional Japanese sweets. I have a feeling because this is also near near um, Ningyocho, which is a traditional uh, neighborhood in Japan, in Tokyo, and they have tons of little street side infections. Not so much because this is more of a commercial center, but I think we're going to find something. So we're going to get Alex something to eat that's Japanese and delicious. So we're we're connecting back up here. This is new. Ebiya, look at that. Looks like a restaurant right there. Ebi meaning shrimp. Is it an Ebiya like shrimp restaurant? Next to it is David. I did not forget. <laughs> Trust me, she's gonna get something from Nihonbashi. Next to it is the um, what, what's the hotel? Um, the place that neither of us can afford to stay in. Oh. Um, not the Four Seasons, but oh, it escapes me. It's a really, really delicious food on the second floor. They have some stuff in there. All right, we're gonna loop around here. So we walked 400 meters from the Nihonbashi Bridge and you can see the street on Nihonbashi. This is Chuo Avenue and you've, you, this is also goes straight through the heart of Akihabara, right? Yes. And if you go this way, it'll take you straight through the heart of Ginza. So we're connecting it with this street here, just to put it into perspective where we are. So is this part also Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Thank you. Is yes. This part also closed on the weekends here? Uh, no, I don't think they close this on the weekends like they do in Ginza, which is a shame. I know Ginza streets are closed down on the weekends. It makes it so nice of an experience, but because it's a cultural center here, they they keep it open. No, sorry, a, a uh, commercial center. Ginza's the same way, but I don't know. Maybe they should. They've closed it on special events from time to time, but as you can see, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of like street food and stuff like there is in Ginza. There's not a lot of shops in the, the, it's a little bit wider here. I don't know. It's a good question. Mayor of Tokyo, why don't you shut this street down right now? Yeah. If you're watching Mayor Koike, we love you for all the hard work. Start off with a compliment. And we want to see the street shut down. We demand it in a very politely way, polite way. You can see this is the end of the Nihonbashi traditional old commercial district. And if you keep going, you'll get to Kanda and then eventually to Akihabara, which we are not going to because my bicycle's over there and I bet you it's getting ticketed and maybe even towed away. Whoa, do you see that? 
What is that over there? All right, Alex, we gotta go over there. We gotta go over there. All right. Food has been put on delay. Japanese mascot mascot has been sighted. Alex, we must go see hi to the lemon. Yes. Do you see the lemon? What is that? That's a lemon? It's Pac-Man. We're getting reports from our viewers. It's Pac-Man. What? Really? When there's a mascot, there's bound to be food, Nosh. Just bound to be. Mascot alert. Sorry for the wind, everybody. Looking back at onto onto um, Nihonbashi, you can see now just the size of all these. This is all new. There's trees up on the top of that building. Beautiful. So I, I like these because they're they're usually free. You can go in there and enjoy um, some city views without having to pay anything. Sky tree is sometimes not worth it <laughs> if you put it up like no offense sky tree but it's pretty expensive to go up there and see a bunch of clouds I kind of like to sitting or sitting street level yes mascot alert so you've got knives streets history bridges now pac-man pac-man -Puck no that's a uh, what What is that? What do you think? What, what do you think that is? What do you think that is? Fruit or vegetable. Oh, they're waving at us. <laughs> Yay! Kibita! Konnichiwa, Kibita! Oh, doko kara kimashita ka? Ah, Fukushima Ken! Daisuke Iwaki ni sundeta! Yes! Woohoo! Oh. Yay, genki da ne. A turi. It's a bird. Look at the little wings. <laughs> That's awesome. You want to give it a high five? There we go. Jimmy. Boom. Woohoo. Arigato, kibita. We love you. <laughs> Arigato. Oh, this is the you get that's a, one of the Fukushima. So we've seen Nara, we've seen um, some of the other prefectural shops, and that's the Fukushima one. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, we got we got lost here. There's a Gyukatsu restaurant. That's something. That's something. That's something good. Um, I could do this. Nosh, what do you think? Gyu katsu, gyu means beef. Katsu means katsu. And that's katsu. And that's gyu katsu. It's put together. A gil chu. It's empty. Should we eat some gyu katsu? Is that, is that something you could eat? I could eat anything right now. All right. I guess I guess the the shop's pretty much empty. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Hold on a second. All right, we're good. I just want to make sure that I gotta go to the ATM and can create on some bad situations here. All right, let's. We can go in here. Maybe we can snag a table. What do you think? Go snag a table. Let's get some yes. gyukatsu. Okay. Is <laughs> So I'm gonna order here how to eat beef cutlet. Ah, hi. Ego no menu this. So, making gyu katsu from Kyoto. Wow, it's from Kyoto. What do we got here? Oh, you can see the different cuts of beef. Tongue. Uh, I think I'm in for this one here. The um. The rib eye minced gyu katsu zen. The gyu rib roast katsu. I think I'm in for that. Oh wait, gyu katsu, gyu katsu don, gyu sauce katsu don. Okay, that's for me. 
All right, you go ahead. This is on the nos Noster. Buy Alex a decent meal. He must be broke with the extended stay. Yes. <laughs> He's like, yes. All right. I think on rice. So you good. got it, Marty. Okay, let's get this. You're going to get it too? This one. The Gyukatsu. Uh, get I'm getting... I'll get this one, and then you can get this one. How about that? Yes. That That's looks good. pretty good. All right, so this is... Okay, we'll, get, we'll order it. Do you want to try to order it? I'll tell you what to order. Um, this is the... Gyu tare katsudon, and then I'm getting the gyu sosu katsudon, okay? Alright, see what's that? Ano gyu tare katsudon hitotsu. Gyu sosu katsudon hitotsu. Uh, do you want three pieces or four? three pieces? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Wow. I love I love these chopsticks. They've given a nice little touch to the chopsticks here. It's really beautiful. And they're putting in the order in right now. So, yeah, copyright music. How, how much in trouble are we? I'm gonna have to cut this one later. You should eat more. There's people saying you should have eaten more. Yes, there's so much to eat here. Oh yeah, there's so much to eat. And I think there's no end to the, to the eating. What, what's your, so far, what, what have you eaten that's just like really been amazing? Because we asked you this last time, but I think you've had some more to try. Yes. I've tried lots of ramen. Lots of ramen. Like udon, soba. Maybe out of the noodle ones, udon was my favorite. Mm. But it was all great. Yeah, udon is, is very good. And you haven't had this one. Have you had any katsudon? No. Whoa, you're in for treat. Anything with katsu, anything katsu is good. It's like my favorite here. Okay, hold on a second. The microphone's this way, so so we should talk this way. And if somebody comes, and if somebody comes, we will we will we will move the camera because um, we have to be polite to the other customers. Um, Ando, does Alex plan to come back, and where will he go? Do Do you think this is your last trip to Japan? No. Definitely no? not. I will come back as soon as I can. And I will definitely check out maybe like Osaka, Kyoto, that area next time. And I guess return to Tokyo as well. Yeah, come back to Tokyo. You can start here. I actually think maybe you should fly into Kansai instead. Fly to Kansai Airport and then see the Kansai area more if it's your second time and you didn't see there. Yes. Kansai is much more convenient i think for seeing the sites especially kyoto osaka nara himeji hiroshima it's all there and there's basically just tokyo and going up to tohoku so my first trip to japan i flew into kansai okay yeah, yeah maybe next time like kansai area first and then to tokyo afterwards. yeah get the rail pass yes i should yeah get the rail pass i think um Maybe just seven days. It's kind of expensive, the real pass, too. But you save, right? That's right. The real pass That's, is worth it. Yes. What about hitchhiking? Uh, we, we talked about it last time, hitchhiking. I don't know if I'm ready yet. Maybe yeah. Someday. That's a harder one. But hitchhiking is pretty safe in Japan. Um, but there's always risks. That's the, that's the thing. There's always risks. Um, this place is, I believe, a chain and from Kyoto, so it's kind of interesting. They have a how to eat. There's a how to eat it guide. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I will need that. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Study up. Yes. Study up by my young Padawan. Study up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have Mr. Das. I should tell. Okay, Alex, do be careful. It might be hot. Don't burn your tongue. Okay, yeah, I did that. Mr. Das is looking out for all of us. Already. Oh, did you do it? Yes, I burned my whole mouth. After everything we said, <laughs> yes, you still, still burned your mouth. Impatient. You just cannot wait with the takoyaki. <laughs> it's just, you have to bite into it yes. and enjoy it. Um, is, is Narita Airport still as bad as most people say it is? Do you mean um, because of the typhoon? Or do you mean is Narita Airport bad in general, uh, Raf? 
in general, Narita Airport's a very convenient place because it's a lot more spacious than Haneda. And it's, um, uh, when you get there, it's a pretty good experience I've always had. But it's just, it's further away from Haneda. That's why people prefer to go to Haneda. Um, how did you come into the city? Did you take the monorail or the subway? The subway because it took me straight to the hotel. Yeah, Askusa line, yeah. Yes. I always ride the Askusa line. I change at Daimon. You can take um, or change at... Well, the Askusa line has several places where you can change. I change at Daimon usually and it's, uh, um, it's pretty quick. You can get there in like 30 minutes from all over the city to Haneda, 30, 45 minutes. And Narita will take you uh, 60 to 90 minutes depending on where you are in the city. But it's a it's thousand yen on the bus to get to Narita Airport. I thought that, that even though Narita's far away, a thousand yen is what? Like seven euro, eight euro. So it's pretty, pretty cheap to get around. Um, is Berlin have good transportation to the airport? Yeah. I think so, yes. Yeah. You take the subway and the yeah. bus is connected. Yeah, I think people think about the efficiency. We went to Fukuoka, Kanai and I, and it was two stops on the subway from Fukuoka Airport to the city. It's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, in Berlin, we also have two airports. One of them is a little more outside. And uh, they're still building the, the new one for many years. Yeah. Quite embarrassing. I can hear them. Do you hear it? You can hear it deep frying. It's in the discount. Reason why I ask is a lot of YouTubers have been saying to avoid the airport. I don't think so. I don't think you should avoid Narita Airport. I think you should, if you're going to Tokyo Disneyland or you're going to Asakusa on this side of Japan, of Tokyo, Narita Airport can be quite convenient. If you're leaving from Tokyo Station, the bus is very convenient. It's very quick. I'm not sure why you would avoid Narita compared to Haneda. Haneda is a newer airport. But that doesn't make Narita obsolete. Narita's had some renovations recently. Um, I, I've always had a good experience of both. One thing I can tell you, it's a good question, because if, if other YouTubers are saying it, I'll, I'll, I'll t I can tell you this. Um, Cheryl Austin and um, um, Luke from Hawaii were, were stranded at Narita Airport because of the typhoon. And Narita Airport gave them sleeping bags, a place to stay for free. I think they were holed over for 13 hours. And, and it, it seemed like a camping experience to little uh, Austin. He's not that little anymore now, I shouldn't say that. Uh, Austin, if you're watching, you, I, your dad said you're getting pretty big now. But he apparently it was like a, like a camping and really fun experience. Uh, okay. Sorry, sorry, this one's mine. <laughs> Look at the disappointment. <laughs> uh, I can't tell the difference. Uh, here, here comes yours. Oh, oh. Oh. Alright, this is the, t the chance for you at home to start drooling into your screen. This is the, um, the gyu sauce katsudon. Gyu meaning uh, beef. Katsu, it's breaded beef cutlet with sauce on a bed of rice, coming with a delicious looking miso soup. It's a darker miso, it looks really good. And then Alex over here has elected for the sauce, the tare, which is pieces of beef um, breaded, three pieces on top of rice, and the sauce is just glistening on there. How does it smell? It smells great. I'm now pushing the smell to you through the screen right now. Do you smell it? Do you smell it? No, they do not. No, they do not. All right, it's time to eat. Here's your chopstick. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess we can put that here. All right, you can go first. Do you remember what you say when you open it? Itadakimasu. Oh yes, of course.
hot. Quite hot. That's so good. It's really good. It melts in your mouth. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> melts in your mouth and your hands if you, that's why we got chopstick. Check this out here. You can see the pork cutlet breaded, deep fried. Oh, it looks so delicious. Look at that. And the sauce on it is what gives it all this robust fla um, flavor. The juices and the sauce, and it's on a bed of rice. So we're gonna, we're gonna scarf this down right now and give you our impressions. This is a good, this is a good find. This is a good find. All right, let's try it. It's different than pork. I've had both of these before. Oh, okay. Oh, it's got cabbage on the rice. The cabbage keeps it, um, the, the sauce in. You want some shichimi? It's a, like a, a little bit of a spicy pepper from Kyoto. I'll try it. I like that. They have everything in English here. Check it out. They have everything in English here. I got here. This is shichimi. You can see this is a traditional Japanese spice. It's most famous in Kyoto. So, oh, sorry. Uh, I'll eat that. Sorry about that. Here, put that away. Uh... Ichini san. Okay, it's all good. There you go. Recycle, recycle. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. All right. the part on YouTube we usually cut. <laughs> right? <laughs> People are okay with it. You want something to drink? What is this? Yeah. Just put your, yeah. You want to put your thumb on the top there? Mm -hmm.
You guys can have a front row seat here. <clears throat> but this, this, um, gyu, this uh, beef katsu don is amazing. Just a different, different complexity, different flavor than the pork in there. But it's the sauce, the tare and the sauce that really brings, brings it to life. This is a chain from Kyoto, but it's a really nice one. Um, I'm very satisfied with this. The miso soup is also um, pretty good. The camera's a little wobbly because I'm balancing it on my it on my lap here. Nice layer of cabbage on there. I'm a barbarian. Still sure. working on my top. I'm a barbarian. Um, 
So let's take a look here at how to eat this. I, even I broke the rules, so it's not, not to worry too much. So while Alex finishes him, let's give him some time. How to eat beef cutlet. The guides are also in Korean. First, get it. That's important. Oh, it looks so good. One, wasabi soy sauce. So you can eat it with wasabi and soy sauce if you want. You don't have to. You can eat it with um, Japanese pepper and salt. Just dip it in there. You can eat it with Worcestershire sauce, which they have um, listed on the top of the condiments. They have it in English, so you know which sauce is which. That's really good in English. Then there's, there's curry sauce. Oh, what? I didn't see that. There's also soft boy. Oh, Nosh, are you seeing this? Hanjuku tamago. You can dip your breaded beef cutlet into soft boiled egg. This is amazing. I'm coming back here. Curry sauce on egg. Curry sauce on the rice, egg in on the rice. Curry sauce on the rice, egg on the rice. Okay, it's two different things. Ah, oh, why didn't we see this before? Okay, it's just lunch. I'm coming back for dinner. Kanai, we're coming here. Alex, look at that. Yeah. Boom. Champion. That is impressive. Most impressive. Live another day. <sighs> yeah, big, don't rush it. Oh man, that was a great meal. Guys, thanks for pushing us to, to go in and eat something, uh, eat something special. Should be. Should be something special. What would you have eaten for lunch if it wasn't you cut it off? Probably just another bowl of ramen. Just another bowl of so, actually that's not too bad either. <laughs> that's not too bad. It's about the experience, everybody. Try different foods. This is what the table looks like. The tea is on the right, chopsticks on the left, you have sauces in the middle. There's free cups, so you never really have to buy a drink. They usually will always have free water on the table or a vending machine where you can get the free water, like we have here. Which, is this one mine or? It's yours, huh? Okay, this one's mine. So you always have free water. Or tea, this was tea. Yeah. All right, so take your time, I'm gonna pay. This is compliments of, no, no, no. No, 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 don't even try. <laughs> Oh, that was so satisfying. Was that not worth it or what? Ah, oh. all right, this place is just on the fringe of Nihonbashi here. Um, big thank you to them for not kicking us out. <laughs> they didn't kick us out. Gyukatsu Seimon, Seimon, Seimon Shop, Seimon Ten, Kyoto, from Kyoto, just come here. Well, I'll put a link in the description, but I'm very satisfied, very satisfying, next to 7-Eleven. All right, back we go. What time do you have? Okay. So I got to go back home. I got a meeting with um, YouTube. Let's talk about stuff. That was good. 
Oh, our friend is gone. Our friend is gone. Kiatan. Kiatan? Kiatan? The, the orange bird <laughs> from Fukushima. Ah, oh, we missed him. So there you go, everybody. This is Nihonbashi. It's a pretty, it's a pretty enjoyable experience. Um, I can't complain. Can't can't complain at all. There's a lot of a lot of history here in this area. If you just go to Google Maps, Logan Paul writes in. Definitely will hit that suggestion. Logan Paul is now trading in Australian dollars. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Thank you. Yeah, definitely hit that um, that gyukatsu don place. Gyukatsu is beef cutlet, and the sauce on it was amazing. There's one of the cheap 100 yen um, buses that go around around the area. It's even got some traditional art on the side. Yeah, typically you won't find you won't find beef cutlet. You'll find pork cutlet everywhere. You'll find pork cutlet everywhere. Um, beef cutlet is rare. It's not easy to find that one. I think. Yeah, in general, I see a lot of pork. Yeah. On ramen. That's similar to Germany. You have pork cutlet everywhere, right? Yeah. We yeah. Wiener schnitzel. 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 Yeah. We just had some schnitzel. Japanese schnitzel. <laughs> yes. Was it? Did it taste similar? Tastes better. <laughs> it's better. Yes, I love it. I love it. Thanks everybody for buying us lunch. We really enjoyed it. Ando one one three five. Alex, what is your favorite meal in Japan? In Japan, what was your favorite meal during your trip here? Maybe udon. Udon. It's really hard. Yeah, choose udon. One. It's hard to choose one. Udon or ramen? Maybe udon. Maybe udon. Whoa! Some ramen fans it's going. On the toppings, I guess. It depends on the toppings. Yeah. Um, I like udon right now, but I I've said this before. In three weeks, I might like ramen better. I don't know. I don't know. I change depending on my, on my mood. I change depending on my mood. All right, there you go, everybody. This is a beautiful. Beautiful Nihonbashi adventure, I think that we had. Was it? Did you learn anything? I learned a lot. <laughs> cool. You found a secret shrine. We visited a, a knife shop. We had gyukatsu don, sauce katsu don. We've seen some historical department stores, and we had some strange looks at us because we we're walking around the streets with a stick and a camera. But other than that, we pretty interesting experience. Fukushima. Yeah, we met a. Oh, we met the orange bird from Fukushima. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Ah! But very cute bird that will never fly. Sorry, bird. Sorry to burst your feather. <laughs> you will never fly. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Alex's channel, we'll put it in the description. What about on, on Instagram? Do you have pictures that you yes, want to share? I document basically everything on the Instagram stories. How do they find you on Instagram? It's at Shozo Berlin, spelled S H O Z O Berlin. Not that complicated. Yeah. Shows a Berlin Instagram handle. We'll put the link in the description so you can go and find it. Thank you for plugging. Not at all. Not at all. And when you do have content and you're ready to roll, Alex, we will pitch that as well because that's a good spirit. You're not going to do a YouTube channel until you've got everything ready and ready to show something of quality. I was, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Hmm. So that's it from Nihonbashi. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, leave it down in the description below. If you like this kind of stuff, the walking tours, please click the like button. Always appreciate it. And subscribe. See you next time. Bye from Nihonbashi. Hey, green light. No, it's blue. It's blue.